hi things are not going well with maya <laughs> You remember Maya's case. Maya was rescued about a month ago in the south of Spain. She was living for years abandoned in a, some kind of like derelict area. Uh, it was sort of a landfill. Uh, it was really a horrible place. Uh, for a few weeks before she was rescued, uh, the volunteers in the in the village had been uh, they made a shelter for her. They brought her food, they brought her water, but they could see that she was deteriorating rapidly. This is why we decided to intervene, and we went there. They, you know, we took her across the country and we brought her to our hospital. Maya has touched everyone's hearts because she really is the kindest, softest dog we've ever rescued. Uh, it's really, she's incredible, a gentle giant. But we have a problem with Maya, things are not going well. Maya is suspected to have an autoimmune disease called Pemphigus, Pemphigus uh, foliaceus is, is called. Um, and it's a really complicated disease to treat, it's chronic, it will require medication for the rest of her life. That's okay, we can deal with it and, you know, chances are she's gonna make an incredible recovery. The problem is that uh, her condition seems to be complicating itself with uh, because of the of the way her skin is at the moment. You see, she has widespread infection, and that infection is caused by a bacteria, and that bacteria is a multi-resistant bacteria. So we've been struggling to find the right antibiotic for it. We conducted tests to figure out which antibiotics were the suitable ones for this bacteria. Then she's going to have a biopsy next week at the university. Um, the problem is that the, the, the infection is generalized and it's weakened her uh, far too much. So um, the protocol says that we have to wait until next week to do the biopsy. I think we're just gonna skip the protocol and she's gonna go into different medication today. She's gonna go uh, on cortisone. We need to reduce the, the, the inflammation that uh, that is covering her practically her entire body. Um, she's depressed, she's feeling down, her skin is uh, much worse. So this is the time to forget the protocol and we're gonna try a different direction. So this is not a happy video, it's a worrying video. We're having problems on the way with Maya and we're doing all we can to, to fix them. On the good side, Maya has found a beautiful home. And uh, here are some pictures of her family. They're, they're beautiful, they're waiting for her. And now this is a, 
one more reason to fight hard for her because there is a, there is a light at the end of the tunnel for this beautiful dog. So guys, sorry, I'm I, I'm not able to come back with uh, with better news, but still, you know, we're here, we're fighting for Maya, and we need your support. So please, if you can, consider becoming one of our sponsors. There's a Patreon page here. You can go there, select the level of support that you can give us on a monthly basis, and all of this is going to help us continue saving lives. So please, please, if you can, for Maya, for us, for all our animals, join us on Patreon. Thank you.